Hey guys, Clusey here, bringing you to the second episode of Clusey's Hybrids. And as you can see now, we're playing in the 4-5-1 formation again. And starting off in goal, we have Ustari, who plays for Argentina and plays for Getafe in Liga BBVA. As you can see there, his stats aren't the best, but he makes up for it in the game. He is a great all-round keeper, and I recommend buying him. Coming up at the first centre back when I get there, there we go, we have dun dun dun, Welling, Wellington I think it is, he plays for Malaga as well in the Liga BBVA, he's not the fastest of centre backs but his actual defending does make up for that, so another player who's very good to buy. Coming up at the other centre back, we've got Diacati plays again in La Liga, not yet La Liga, and again not the fastest of players but makes up for it in his heading and defending of stats. Coming up at left back to link with the centre back we've got Mabenegu, I no idea how you say that, he plays with Toulouse and again very, this time he does have pace and also quite good defending stats so a good player to have there as well. And finally at the other right back, we've got Sierra, who plays with PSG, and this is the upgraded card of him, there's a 72 one, but this is a great player, he's got great passing for a right back, and very good, well not very good, alright pace for a right back as well. Coming up at centre mid, dun dun, there we go, Romeric. I think that's what he's called, plays for Ivory Coast, again in La Liga and plays for Espanyol. As you can see he's not the fastest of players but because of that great passing he plays through the strikers and has, great, has a great shot and free kick as well. Coming up at left mid we've got Arat, Arat who links up with the left back there as you can see. He's got great pace. I think he's got three star skills, so I'm not sure, which is a bit of a letdown. I much prefer him to have four. But again, great player, but not the best of shot there either. Coming up at the other CAM, we got Fagulia. Plays for Valencia in La Liga. Great player. There is stats again. Great pace for a centre mid and also a good shot. And okay dribbling, I guess. Or links for the hybrid and a normal great player I guess. Coming up at the other CM we have Sahar who plays for Crystal Palace and is the only bronze player in this team. He's got great pace, he's originally a striker but there's a lot on the market for CAM so it won't be hard to find one. Anyway he's got great pace and links up to the centre mid there as you can see. Coming up at right mid, we've got Gradle, who used to play for Leeds and Leicester in the Championship, but has moved in the summer to St Etienne. But he's so overpowered on this game, he's got great pace. Only three star skills, I think, could be three, could be four. But he's anyway, got great pace and not bad shooting for the amount of pace he has. And finally, coming up at striker, we've got Pekini. Pik Coney, something like that. I don't know. I don't follow West Ham, so I wouldn't know how to say his name. But he's big there for six foot two, and he's also not got the fastest, but he's got great finishing and great shot, as you can see there. And probably one of the best silver strikers I've used for saying his pace is so low. But anyway, that is the final team. It's basically a Ivory Coast slash France slash Ligue One team. It's great team highly recommend buying them and please tell me what sort of team you want to see next episode when you see a bronze team or a silver team just put it in the comments below and i'll happily make it for you anyway thanks for watching guys and see you later